These mountains stand in the middle of the biggest desert on Earth, the Sahara. It stretches right across the width of Africa, three and a half million square miles of it. At night, it gets so cold that it can freeze. During the day, the sun strikes it so ferociously that the highest land temperatures ever recorded were measured here in the Sahara, 58 degrees centigrade, 137 degrees Fahrenheit. And in turn, those oven-like temperatures rob the land of all its moisture. All in all, there could hardly be a more hostile environment for life on Earth. But it wasn't always hostile. And if you want evidence of that, here it is. A group of antelope, probably sable, creatures that can't live anywhere in the Sahara today because there's simply not enough vegetation for them. And these aren't the only wild animals that have been painted on these rocks. A giraffe. A kind of wild goat, probably a moose. Alex, you're not going out tonight. No, can't be bothered. But it's Sasha night, but that's not going out. No, I don't think so. There's nothing on anyway tonight. I wonder if she suspects. I can't go out and face the crowd. They make me feel uncomfortable. Why am I so weird? Why can't I be like everyone else? I need a drink. My head is killing me. Okay, class. Settle down. Uh, open your books to page 85. Today we're going to be learning about Emily Dickinson. Mr. Kelly. Nice of you to make an appearance, late as usual. Ah, uh, Mr. Riley, you know you love me, really. Uh, my sincere apologies. Go sit down. As you know, Emily Dickinson suffered an inner drama, and this reflected on her poetry. It's not my fault I couldn't breed. I still can't breed. I feel like this shirt is choking me. Why is everyone staring at me? They're staring at me. I can see them. Feel them. Oh no, there's Tom. What if he asked me how the house party went? Why did I lie to him? I'm such an idiot. Well, mate, how'd the party go last night? Mad to hear the deets. Uh, did you pull? The gentleman never tells. Ah, come on, tell us. Please. Ah, uh, sure, to be honest, I can't remember most of the night. Had a few too much, you know yourself. Yeah. Head's still banging on today as it is. I hope he quits asking me about this party. Did I pull? Who'd fancy a loner like me? I can't think straight. My head's always banging. It's a bit weird I didn't see you at the party last night. Oh, sure, I was in the corner with a girl. You know yourself for the whole night. Yeah, I'd say you're taking a load of pictures on your waist. Okay, class, can any of you tell me... Uh, yes, Mr. Kelly. Copy of my locket. Can I go get it? Go on. As I was saying, can any of you tell me the themes in Emily Dickinson's poetry? Why did I lie? What happens if he finds out about the party? You think, he'll think I'm a freak. So stupid. Such an idiot. That's it. Sorry, sorry, miss. It's okay. You're Alex, right? Yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Is that the girl from the party? Hey! Uh, she's not bad, but the one in the party was way better. What do you think of this lad? You don't know. As if I'd be that desperate. <laughs> 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 nothing going for you. Of 
course you wouldn't like you. You have no friends and can't play football to save your life. The trainer doesn't even like you. She's way out of your league. You'll never have a girlfriend. In the poem, child, enter. Can I speak to Alex, please? Alex, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what about? i